Hello there. My name is Margo. Margo B. Some of you know me, but for those of you that don't, I'm a neo soul singer living in New York City. Now, you may be wondering what I'm doing being interviewed in the hot tub. For one, it's actually quite nice right now. And uh, number two, I was thinking that it went really well with my new album that's coming out. It's really hot, something uh, fresh. Or something as fresh as this, but it's pretty fresh. What's the biggest highlight of your career so far? I'd have to say my tour with Jason Mraz. Um, there were seuses on set and everything was catered and we played to 65, 80,000, you know, amount of people and all these crowds and it was, it was definitely awesome. It was the best, best moment of my career. If you could tour with anyone, who would it be and why? It would definitely be CeeLo because he has such a diverse style of music and he really loves all types of genres and so do I. What are some new artists that you're feeling right now? There's a lot. Um, you know, a lot of people talk about the new way of music, that, that music is dead and um, creativity is dead, but I think that we live in a generation now that we have the ability to use Pro Tools or use Logic or be our own producers. So I think that that, that allows and opens up a lot of other opportunities people that wouldn't necessarily get the chance to go into a studio or work with producers that they can afford so they build things on their own. So I think that it's actually creating more musicians with different kinds of styles because it's coming from all around the world. Um, but some of the new people that I'm digging right now, um, I love Stilo's new album. Uh, I would have to say uh, Vivi Brown, I love her style. Um, I like a lot of folk music. Uh, I love the Weezies. They have a, a kind of style that it's, it's almost like a depressing, but really happy, depressing song. You know, they have like these really fruitful songs, but um, with kind of a depressing manner, but it's, it's really nice and kind of, you know, relaxing. I love Alicia Keys' new stuff. Um, there's a lot of good artists right now. Drake is definitely on, on the top. Uh, I love Rihanna's new flavor. Um, but I really, I range between country, bluegrass, um, folk, pop, and R&B and rap. So I could really be here all day for that. What inspires you? Um, I have to say my family. Uh, I come from an extremely supportive background. My parents have always been supportive to me, and including my brother and the rest of my family too, my extended family. Um, they never really questioned my career, uh, what, I've, what I've chosen to do. It's a very strange industry that, that we get ourselves in. You know, this music industry, it seems so glamorous on the top, but it's, it's really um, it's a hard industry to get into, and it can be a little dirty sometimes. And it's, it's rough to be alone, and it's, a, it's definitely a cold, lonely road. So it's nice to have, it's nice to have their support, and nice to have their friendship, and um, and I'll have that for the rest of my life. So that keeps that keeps me kind of pushing on and makes me realize that I can do anything. How spicy do you like your food? Uh, no, actually, um, I really don't like spicy food. I love Mexican um, burrito. Where do you shop? For a suit? If I were to buy a suit, um, which would probably be something that I would buy because uh, I wear a lot of men's clothing, um, I probably shop at BTPG. They have some sharp stuff. When you think of lens, what comes to mind? I'd have to say camera. I'm ready for my clothes up. No, um, yeah, camera, contacts, uh, I don't have any contacts, but I do wear colored ones sometimes because, hey, you know, got a big to make it. <laughs> if you could bring three things to a deserted island, what would they be? Uh, 
probably the new um, the new toothbrush thingies. They have you know like the the little packets with it's not like really a toothbrush. It's like a mini toothbrush because then it has like the toothpaste in it, and you can you know so you don't have like stanky breath because gum only only lasts for so long. And um, so I'd bring those because uh, whoever I'm on the deserted island with, you know, I, I definitely don't want to insult them with my breath. Um, definitely clothes, like underwear, you know, that would suck. Um, and so we got underwear and tooth toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, and a camera because you know, if I if I do get completely deserted there, at least people have documentation of how awful it was until they found me. You know, or what I found. Uh, if I found like a magic treasure, like a, a magic box or gold or something. You know, my family might be millionaires, so I could be a hero. If you could sing or rhyme in any language, which would it be? Um, I love the Irish. You know, has a nice little wheel to it. But I think I would like to be Scottish, so I'm hoping that I'm not offending anyone that is Irish. I really like Irish people, um, especially the guys. So, uh, I'd have to pick Spanish. I'm oh, almost fluent, almost. That might be a really big lie. Um, but I, I love when, when Latinos and Latinas fight so passionate and then they just start going at it and if you could sing or rhyme in Spanish that'd be awesome especially if you're a rapper in Spanish because you were like you know and you just go back and forth and it would be passionate rhyming it would be a whole new age of music if your life was to be documented in a movie what would it be called be called these are the days of our lives thank you so much guys my name is Margo B Coming at you with my efficacy. Big ups to Fiona Bloom and the Bloom Effect. Peace, love, and music. Come back home to an old and a raise that you're back and gone.